Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Sorry the last episode kind of cut off in a little bit of a weird spot, but it was the best I could do. So we're going to pick back up looking at this like tavern distillery area. And we're going to be finding what sort of secrets it holds. So thank you all for bearing with me and the video will start in a moment. Oh, I am thinking we can just kind of walk in from the back here. We can either walk in through here. I think this is just open. There's a towel pile and there's blood. Ooh, that doesn't go well for what's in this room. How's it? Chill. Oh, a bloody handprint. That's cool. Can I light it on? It doesn't have like a health, which is frustrating. Like the door has a health. This does not. I feel like I should be able to do something with this. Apparently not. No. Wow, okay, this chest was kind of hidden. Another potion of angelic slumber. Hmm. Welcome to the waning moon. To lifelong friends, both old and new. This woman was apparently selling out her friends. Well, let's see. I need a quick I'm word. Curious. The faded ah! gold in my pouch is clinking. Say hey for the pub. A single fault is what I'm thinking. Say hey for the pub. Your vocal cords are in great condition. Hey for the pub. Hmm. Oh for the pub. We'll soon Oop. be stinking. He's trying drunk. to read. What? Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Get a stone and these are, these are like it was like oh pub games. Get a stone and invade an inn and kill everyone there. Winning team gets to yank a single claw of their choice out of the loser's feet. What? Attack a village with your pack. Keep killing till a chum lo loots a deck of cards. What? Dealer chum. It's basic math math semantics. Last one standing torches the village. What kind of... The big book of little drinking games. My gosh. Halflings and gnomes order here. Oh, and the book about killing a gnome is, uh... Is right there. Oh is my gosh. Is that what I've been peeping? Say hey for the I do not want to know. This is a hundred percent. This whole area has been Bioshock. This is a love letter to Bioshock. There's that guy. I'm hoping I can go talk to this guy, but we'll see. One day I'll get there. One day. Where is he trying to go? Baldur's Gate, where the streets sparkle with silver, and the actors have jobs. Do you guys know your There's dads? There's a big tent, funny costumes, the circus. Yes, that's it. I was going to the circus. Lighted bar, man. Ah! Oh! Hey! Me! He sees me, 100%. Yeah, we are definitely within the range of. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna throw myself up on the bar? Like I have no. Not a care in the world? Really? Ri I am bold. Drink. Go back down where you Absolutely the freak not. Uh, um. What is it that you're serving? Only the best. Oblivion and beyond. There's definitely um, 
undead in there. Go on! Choose! Bottoms up! Go now! This guy looks like he had a long, long, long night. Might be best to keep him happy you, for now. Are you serious, darling? You want me? Oh, I mean, I get... Oh. Hmm. I'm just picking it up. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I am somewhat intrigued, and uh, hopefully somebody can uh, heal me if things go poorly. Leaning in, you can see how the creature's skin barely holds <laughs> it together. The bulge of its belly is on the cusp of bursting oh. wide open. It looks set to burst, and will probably be left hip deep in his juices. Girls, ladies. Go on, drink. Make it drink. Be drunk. You and I both. Uh, I'm drink actually. Good health. Cool. Drink with the brewer. I get. Look at all that stuff I get. I let's see. Let's see how hardy I am. I guess. I don't know what the role is for, but I'm definitely not a sleight of hand lady. Uh, yeah, bless, and also that. Let's do, okay, yep. Okay. I have a bunch of bonuses. Oh my gosh, I should have watched that roll out. I, I wish I'd have known. So I'm, uh, I don't, I, I had the option of like between an 8 and a 14. Oh my gosh, it is a good thing I put all of that. Hashtag bless. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are you got? You really, you guys are okay the with me drinking? The burns your throat as you swallow. <laughs> but otherwise you feel no ill effects. Oh, is it an, I, I read an elixir book earlier. <laughs> Small sip you take. Feel not. You will soon quaff as I do. I did read a book earlier. It's one of those ones like, oh, rule of three, alchemy thing, blah, 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 you know. Um, and it talked about elixirs and potions, but it was just. I am not. I am disgusted by this. Now tell me ah. a story, a fable, a saga. I can't believe my friends approve of me drinking whatever questionable thing this is. Oh no! Okay, I do have charisma at least. Um. Explored a lost fortress buried deep in the underdark bowels. Oh my gosh. Oh, and oh, can I not? Oh, okay. Dang it. I can only have one of them do it at a time. Haha. -ha, I'm doomed. Oh my gosh. Woo! Do I have to get through all of these performances to defeat him, maybe? Oh my gosh, the guy has like a troubadour and an actor and like a barman around. <laughs> Approval! Treasures in the dark. Like the dusty anniversary bottle. Forgotten in the widow cellar. Delightful. Delightful. I am so uncomfortable dealing with any of this. Also, am I gonna like... You ask, you drink, then you amaze, and fuse a stone me again! I hope I don't lose these memories. <laughs> From Bless. Uh... 
I mean, I know who placed the curse on this land. How did you become what you are? It seems like I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just kind of go with him. Do I already have? I don't. Okay. Let's see how? Oh no! Oh. It's okay. I do have a lot of um inspiration. So we can try again. I want to see how far I can go. Okay, sweet. And apparently I'm just rolling in the approval, so that's fine. That's good. I'll rake this in while I've got it. Eh. Belly rumbles as the vile brew fades. Yeah, she's like, whoa! <laughs> Yet your mind remains miraculously steady. <laughs> that's amazing. This guy talks so slowly, I want to put him on like 2.0 speed. Ah, this is gonna go poorly for me. I. Tell me a false okay. Vanquish. Beast bastard. Okay. Uh, now, I, an owlbear mother lunged at me, I slaughtered it. Uh huh. Uh, I felled it with great wit and might. I bested an inquisitor, a dreaded champion of the Lich Queen, Blagget. I like, uh, I slayed a hideous pustule ridden hag. No, let's do the inquisitor. That one's probably the boulette. Those were fun. The, this one's probably my best one. Although, maybe I shouldn't be bragging about that. Ha ha. Whoo, baby. I'll drain the land. We'll drain to everything, but especially the land. Bravo. Is this going to go poorly for me when I have too much of it inside of me? Am I going to turn into him? Question. May your query and train once more. Once more, alright. So I can ask. Hang on, I'm gonna. He said I could ask a question. How did you become what you are now? Father Catherine's laughter. Not joy. Not ever, never. Now drink it deep. Mm. I feel like I'd be pushing my luck. Yeah, I'm gonna just drink. Ah! I love how my cloak and my helmet and everything are all trying their darndest to keep me. Oh, goodness! The gods have not totally forsaken me. Each swig is as painful as the last. But you remain in otherwise sound mind and body. That's good. He's getting drunk. Father 
It's starting to bubble. I'm hearing some bubbling going on. Yeah, she's like, Ew. It's gonna blow up on me. No. Oh. Yeah, you better run. Oh, I'm not. Okay, whew, okay. Okay, I was like, please don't make me watch that. My Outlanders are inspired. Uh, do I not get an achievement for doing that? I got an achievement for the other two. Well. There's a secret. Investigate the Thorn Mausoleum. The brewer revealed that her cage is located in Thorn Mausoleum. It's unclear who this woman is, but Catherick must have caged her for a reason. Well, I was thinking that these Thorn people were his siblings in some way, but it seems like maybe they're his children, so maybe it's their mother? Because that would, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking of like Nordic stuff, right? Where Loki's wife was called the, uh, the mother of monsters because of the entities she gave birth to. Warm mausoleum. I don't know where that is yet. What are you? Can you have something for me, bud? Anything of use? What? Something else was talking. Do apology, madam. Key. Where was it? A uh, small key has been si singed by chemicals and smells faintly of alcohol. I'll pick that up. Go. Baldur's grape. <laughs> Mermaid whiskey, common table wine, carafe of wine. Not a surprise. Send those to camp. I just keep picking up alcohol. I'm gonna inadvertently get one of these uh, the the achievements Fine. for. Sorry. Who, somebody is talking up above my head. Oh, what's that? Oh. Oh, Madeline's, I was like, I haven't found the book yet, but this is that, um, I think it's the thing, and I wasn't even, I actually almost didn't come over here because I'm like, oh, it's just shelves full of wine probably, and I have so many, and I'm going to get the hangover th the setting because at one point all I'm going to have is <laughs> wine and stuff and alcohol in the camp, uh, but okay. The words for the attention of the doctor, Sister Young Natasha, are written across the top of every page. This is an excerpt from the last page. Morning, day 15. Sism and Noak said Catherick wouldn't hold on to moonrise terrors for towers for long at this rate. Evening, day 18. Imani Atakani claimed it was unfair that the Thorns had the cushiest jobs. Even stuff like this would get you in trouble. And this, she's not just like reporting them to like, I don't know, because they're bad people. Like, they're just people who are complaining in a bar about like. An, an unjust situation and she's reporting them the darkest this year is like that's cool like that's not like there's no justice in that you know yes. night day 22 mark jacobs benjamin blanchett made jokes about the thorns especially lord catherick said he was a misery guts a weeping nutsack and discussed exactly how his wife would have liked it i know what mark and ben said was just plain awful lady natasha but they're some of my best friends and i've never heard such talk out of them they were upset over their wages being cut and were the drunkest i'd ever seen by midnight i know it looks bad but hand over heart you've never met two gents more devoted to our lady i swear it a different, more elegant script appears beneath it. Our Lady of Loss will be proud of you, Madeline. Do not worry about Mark and Benjamin. Myself and your two gents are simply going to have a little chat. I promise. Oh, to the bards, Jones. Uh -huh. Maybe we'll get some proper music. Punish the wicked. I wish I could freaking date that man. I would. I would. I think I would date him even with this character. I'd be like, I can't resist. I can't resist. He's literally everything I have ever wanted. <laughs> You know, in fiction. Ooh, come on, give me. I wanna talk to you. Did you mess our pardon? Uh, our master d distiller spills quite the cause. Uh -huh. Now settle your mind, chum, and get your shine on. Be will it what? Uh. What do you got? M moon, mountain, dark, coming. R r Right up. A man of brains, proper taste. The brain's exposed. Uh, how much do I owe you? To jump yourself up and whisk the old luggy to jug bug you. So be what? Uh, I think your witty remarks <laughs> are much for him. He's a blubbering wreck. His brain is exposed. 
venerable. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. I hope it's it's a little over an hour on the recording, so I feel like I should probably stop. So I hope the episode is good. But we got came well, got what we came for here and more besides. Um, but we will look around and do some chatting. I'm curious why these undead have some sort of sentience to them, and like are like like able to talk and have vague memories. That that's weird to me. I'm not sure what that's about because that's not. They're not. They're blighted. They're not, um, shadow cursed, which is odd. As far as I can tell, right? Yeah, interesting. So those, these guys are kind of odd. But anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Equine Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Calido, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I truly, truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.